Air filtration is an important part of preparedness. Whether you're talking about a top of the line gas mask, like I'll be reviewing today, a respirator you might get at someplace like Home Depot, or the prepper favorite N95 mask that will get air particulates, it's important to make sure that you have the right mask for the job at hand. Today, I'll be reviewing the CM6M from Mira Safety as well as the NBC77 SOF CBRN filter uh, that goes with it. Both of these give us the maximum protection available on the market today. That is, of course, unless you are the president of the United States or you're on some deserted island. Wilson, where are you? Wilson! I'll be going over what you can expect right out of the box after you purchase this mask, what's included. I'll be going over some of the qualities and features of this CM6M I'll also be giving you my impressions after doing a few tests, as much as you can do anyway without booking a ticket to Chernobyl. I'll talk about some of the pros and cons with this particular type of mask and answer a few questions you might have specifically about the filter itself. And I also want to go over a little bit about who this might be for and who might want to look in a different direction. Not all disasters are created equal, and a mask of this quality, a filter of this quality, may not be necessary in all in most disaster situations. There you go. Mm -hmm. 15 cents change. You could save quite a bit of money uh, by looking at other options as well. But like I said, this one is going to be that catch-all. It's going to get the most out of the air, uh, and it, it's going to be useful in the most disaster scenarios. So recently, I was approached by the folks over at Prepared B about doing a review on the CM6M gas mask. And when I first heard it, I yeah, because I know about the mask, I said, heck yeah, I will do that. Now, this is going to be an honest review, but if you go research this, you'll find that this is one of the top of the line uh, gas masks, especially with the, the Mira filter, the NBC 77. Uh, it is one of the top of the line masks you can get. So it is going to be an honest review, even though it's probably going to sound uh, like I'm just in love with the thing because I kind of am. Over on Prepared B, their website, they've got this listing here for the CM6M Tactical Gas Mask. $264, so no, not for the faint of heart, but this really is worth the price. If this is what you are looking for and the route you do want to go, this would be uh, something that you would want to look into. Now, Mira does have another gas mask sort of along the same lines of this. It's just a little bit more, and I'll go through the differences here in a minute, but this one, basically the same price, the same NATO filters, 40 millimeter NATO filters, just got the bug eyed look, which doesn't have quite the field of vision, but it's better for shouldering a weapon. And, and like I said, I'll go through more of that in a second. But you can have a look, go through these listings on both the Prepared B and the Mirror website themselves and, and just You'll see what a, a great quality product this actually is. And if you do have any questions, the odds are uh, the folks over at Mira have probably answered them. All right, so let's go over the mask itself, and then we will get into the filters that you attach to the, the mask and what those will do. The mask itself is really high quality made. Like I said, this is one of the top of the line masks. Uh, it's got a 20 year shelf life. It's used quite a bit in Europe, the Czech Republic, Norway, Portugal, used by police and government agencies out there. It's got a durable bromobutyl rubber construction, which meets the CBRN protection standards. Uh, the full face panoramic design with the large visor on this mask here. Uh, and I will go into my thoughts on that here in a minute. Uh, it's got the hypoallergenic inner mask, which prevents fogging, uh, even under hard use. And I haven't, you know, use, I used this for about a half an hour, 45 minutes straight. Didn't have any issues with fogging whatsoever. It's uh, tested resistance to mustard gas penetration for nearly 30 hours. And depending on the different agents, this mask, and this goes more into the filters, but you're looking at maybe, depending on what it is, eight hours to 24 hours, and like it says here, 30 hours. Uh, you can also wear a helmet with this. It's helmet compatible, uh, and it fits two of the 40 millimeter NATO filter cartridges. 
uh, which are used quite a bit. And uh, like I said, Mira makes some great filters as well. It does come with the water bottle, which, you know, may or may not be something you'd want to use. It depends on uh, how hard the trip is you're going to be on or how long that trip is. You may need actually need that. And along with the 20 year shelf life, it comes with a five year manufacturer guarantee from Mira. On the back, you have a five point harness, which has got the mesh system inside, which is really nice. So you've got a big bushy set of hair. Uh, it's not going to pinch and grab. The straps tighten really easy. Basically, you put it on your head and you just pull those backwards and cinch them up. Really easy and really nice harness system. Uh, the shield quality is a really high quality shield. It complies with the, the European quality standards, the EN168 for impact protection. Uh, I tried this out. Uh, and what I did was took a brick and dropped it on from about six feet up, dropped it on the visor. Now, the reason I chose a brick uh, to do the drop test with and not a, just a round rock or anything like that is because I figure if you're in a riot situation or, you know, how they, they use these in Europe, the police officers over there, the riot control over there, you're probably not getting a river rock thrown at you it would be something like this. So I wanted to test it with just a garden brick that we have here at the house. And I dropped it from about six feet and it did scratch the visor, but that's not unexpected. Uh, I fully expected it to scratch the visor and I knew going into it that I was probably going to mess the visor up, but it did, it, it was resistant to that impact as well. It should be. Uh, if it, if you can't, uh, if it couldn't withstand something like that, I just don't see how it would withstand something in a riot. Uh, but the little scratch is not something that makes it unusable. Uh, there are no splits in the, I, I looked real close, there are no splits in the visor. So the visor's fine, it's just the, the plastic is scratched a little bit. One other thing on the visor, which could be kind of a big deal, uh, depending on what situation you're in, is while you're walking around, uh, especially on uneven surfaces, there's sort of a wave in this full face respirator, something you don't get from the like this the 7M mask with the goggle, uh, those goggle type masks with the two different eye holes. Uh, but this one has sort of a wave. So what it does is it makes the the surface that you're walking on uh, it seem a little bit distorted and uneven. And as you'll see in the video that I was doing. Uh, as I was coming down the hill, I stumbled a little bit because you can't really tell, you know, is the ground uh, a couple inches higher than it really is or where is it? So it's it's kind of tough in a, if you were in a situation where you were bugging out and you were hoofing it uh, and you had to go pretty fast, uh, I don't know that this would be the best mask to have. Like I said, the, the goggles, uh, the two different eye sockets, something like that uh, would probably be a little bit better. But because this face mask is that full view, uh, it does have a little bit of that wave in there uh, that makes it a little bit difficult. Now, flat surfaces, and if you're looking higher on the mask, not so much. But if you're looking lower, like you're looking towards your feet, uh, you can really sort of see that. I mean, that's not a deal breaker. It just really depends on the situation you're in and what you're going to need it for. Uh, and if it is a where if it is a situation where you feel like you may need to run, uh, you know, I maybe get you know do some tests with it and practice with it and see see how it's going to function. So all in all, it's a good quality mask. Uh, it's going to withstand those impacts. It's going to do the job it's supposed to do. Uh, like I said, the only downside I see is if you are in a situation where you're going to have to run uh, and evade, uh, you know, it, it may throw up some challenges for you. It's got the silicone inner mass with the two little valves right there. Uh, and it's got a speech diaphragm on the inside, which says that you can hear 95% of the, the volume. Uh, which is, I've tested this out, and it is actually pretty good uh, as far as not having to yell and people being able to hear you. Uh, you can hear in this video right here that I did that, uh, you know, the speech is pretty good. It's a little, I mean, I'm totally out of breath, but it's not too bad. It just takes a lot to suck in the air, but it is actually doable. Yeah. With the speech diaphragm. 
And then it's also got the exhale valve underneath, which is a little bit strange at first because it blows the air straight at your neck. So it makes it feel like you've got a leak or something, but um, it's, it, you get used to it after a little bit and then you don't even notice it anymore. Now, like I sort of mentioned with the visor, there's a couple differences between the 6M and the 7M. And I wanted to talk about the, what the biggest thing I think as far as this full face visor compared to the goggle type masks is the shooting ability, uh, depending on which platform you're using. A rifle with this 6M mask here is a little bit tougher to get a, a nice cheek weld, put it on your shoulder. You almost have to tilt it uh, tilt your rifle 45 degrees to get a good sight picture. Uh, and I've seen a few people do it. So it's not something that's impossible, but it is a lot tougher. Whereas with the handgun, it's better than the other one because you've got a full picture uh, in front of you. So uh, that's what I like about this mask is the ability to, you know, my peripheral vision and to be able to see and all those things where those uh, goggle type masks, you're, you're really restricted. Okay, so let's talk about the filter real quick. This is a CBRN gas mass filter, NBC 77 SOF 40 millimeter, uh, and it's got a 20 year shelf life, which is pretty cool because most filters out there have around six years or so. So unopened, as long as you don't open this and, and unseal the vacuum seal and the, the top and bottom seals, it's going to last you about 20 years. Now, once this canister is opened, uh, it is basically use it or it's dead. You've got, like I said earlier, that eight hours to 24 hours to 30 hours to use that. It's a one-time use. Uh, I suppose you could probably uh, use it for a little bit like this one that I have that I really haven't put any uh, chemical agents or anything through. I could probably, I, I might be able to seal this back up, put it in a Mylar bag with some oxygen absorbers, uh, and it may be good for a few years or so. I'm just not so sure I'm going to chance that on something that just like a water filter, you you just you you don't know because you can't see all the stuff and you're not sure if it's getting it or not. So I just want to err on the side of caution with something like this and make sure I've got something that's fresh, never been used, never been touched uh, in a in a, an emergency situation or something that is life threatening. Now, these filters are about 80 bucks, but these are uh, the top of the line filter that you can get. These are NBC. These are CBRN. The NBC meaning nuclear, biological, and chemical. And then the CBRN is chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. So like I said, this is a top of the line uh, gas mask filter. It does have the 40 millimeter NATO threading, uh, the 20 year shelf life. It's it's got a lot of ratings on this that I'm not going to go through in this video. There's just so many different numbers and different chemicals and different agents and all those different things that um, it's just it, I don't want to bore everyone to death. But on their website, they go through every, every everything that they're rated for. And a lot of these are European but the police officers, the federal agencies out there use these masks, so they're perfectly fine for civilian use. Again, there's just a lot of information on their website. They've got Q and A's uh, on the, if you go to the page with the mask itself, they answer, uh, you know, 20 or so different questions that people have about what this is going to protect against, how long it's going to protect against certain things. I'm not going to get into those because it really depends, just like a water filter, it really depends on what type of filter you get, what you're trying to get out of the water. You've got some water filters that will get the basic microorganisms, the cryptosporidium and giardia, things like that. Then you've got the ones that will get some chemicals and viruses out. And then you've got the ones that are even bigger than that. And, and I kind of compare this to this filter right here that will basically get as much, almost everything out of the water as possible. Although you're never going to get everything out. There are certain things that are going to get through. And the same thing, even with the best water filter and the same thing with this, uh, this air filter right here, it's going to get everything that it possibly can but that doesn't mean that it's going to get everything. And just like a water filter, it does have a lifespan. It's only water filters are only going to filter so much water, and this is only going to filter so much air. So keep that in mind. But now, one last thing on the filters: it doesn't necessarily. You don't necessarily need to go with the uh, with the the hardcore filter right here. The uh, 
the NBC 77. They There are quite a few different filters uh, here on the Mirror website, as well as any filter that's got that NATO 40 millimeter threading. Uh, they've got one for smoke escape, so something around the house. I'm not sure what the price on this because it says sold out at this point. This Dot Pro 320 uh, protects, protection against common threats. The lightweight and affordable option for long-term pandemic preparation. This one is $160, and this one actually comes with six of the filters, so it's not just one filter. Uh, and this removes uh, 99.9995 of, of viral and bioparticulates. So something like this may be good to have uh, a couple of these sitting around. Again, 20-year shelf life, because who knows when the next pandemic pandemic uh, happens in the future. And something like this on in a bug out situation or, or whatever it might be, something like this uh, may be beneficial. And then the PCAN, which is specifically designed for law enforcement professionals to use riot control agents like tear gas, CS gas, CN, and OC spray. So if you're in an urban environment or that that sort of mob riot type situation is something that you're concerned about, uh, something like this uh, may be something that you do want to think about. Again, just a lot of different options. It doesn't have to be this full protection uh, NBC 77 filter, although I think, you know, in... It, because it's sort of the shotgun approach where it covers as much as possible, uh, maybe it's good to have one of those per family member, maybe even two of those. I think on their website they say if you're planning a bug out situation, have two per person uh, for per day basically for where you're planning on traveling or if you're, as long as you plan on traveling through that contaminated environment. So uh, it would be something, and with the shelf life at 20 years, it would be something you just stick on the shelf. Uh, hopefully you never need to use it, but if you do, you've got it there. But there are other options as well, some lower cost options, depending on the different situation that you're thinking about. If you're thinking about a pandemic, could be natural disasters, just a lot of different things uh, that you wouldn't necessarily need that big boy filter, but you would want something else. So who would this gas mask and these filters be for? And I think as far as preparedness is concerned, it really depends how far you are or where you are on your preparedness journey. And does it make sense? I think they are. I mean, we spend so much uh, time and energy and all these other things that protect us. And it just only makes sense to have a gas mask like this uh, with the, the, the air. I mean, we spend so much time on water filtration. We need to spend time on air filtration as well. That being said, if you're at a point in preparedness where you're still building up your food storage, if you're still doing uh, things to get your family ready and you're not quite to the uh, it's possible that I need a gas mask level, then I don't think this is something you need to do right now. But eventually, I think if, if you are one of those people that have, have been doing this for a while, you've got everything under control or, or as much as possible anyway, I think this is something that needs to be looked at uh, because you just never know. Like I said, it could be earthquakes. It could be disasters. It could be, you know, you helping out in those situations, uh, the emergency emergency response. So it's not all just a bug out tactical type situation where one of these would be necessary. There's a lot of different things. So I think if the if the time is right for you, I think all preppers should probably have one. That being said, it really depends on where you are in your preparedness and how far along you are and if it makes sense financially to go this route or if it makes fin sense financially to go uh, put your money somewhere else to help you become better prepared for things that are more likely to happen. Now, if you are in an urban environment or maybe even a suburban environment, I think one of these probably should be a top priority for you. Out here where I live, it's not necessarily a top priority other than, you know, dirty bombs or, you know, a nukes or anything like that. Something like that would be, uh, would be, would affect me more than, say, a riot or anything uh, that would happen in an urban environment. But if you are in an urban environment, one of the first things you may need to do is bug out. And depending on what caused that situation to where you have to bug out, a gas mask may be one of those things that you absolutely do have to have in your uh, bug out bag or with you in your car. Uh, or if you're in a suburban environment, maybe it's a little bit more iffy, but it's still that same type of situation where if people do start uh, leaving the cities a little bit and you're close enough uh, where you need to bug out, 
maybe that is something you think about. But like I said, out here, uh, it's one of those. It really is just a you know weigh your odds, weigh weigh your you know the, your pros and cons, and figure out what you need to do in preparedness, uh, and go the best route for you that helps you and your family become more prepared. But I do think they have a definite place in preparedness, and I think it should be something that everybody at least tries to get to the point where they can get them. But don't sacrifice the important things just to get yourself a gas mask. Uh, don't be eating ramen noodles for three months just to get yourself a gas mask. If you've ever used the C the 6M or the 7M, uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are or any other gas mask for that matter. I've got this one back here. This is an M10M uh, that is a, a military surplus gas mask. It, it doesn't have the 40 millimeter threading on it. And I don't believe you, I think you can still buy filters but they're not new filters. So I don't know how much I would trust them. They may be sealed, but this was, you know, made in the 80s, somewhere around that time frame. So those filters right there are already 40 years old. So uh, it's one of those, like I was talking about earlier, if you're going to put something in there and you're going to depend on it in a life-threatening situation, a life or death situation, you want to be pretty confident that it's going to work. Now with this mask, the, the filters are like 20 bucks. So I may get a couple because if there's a situation where I'm stuck in something and I have no other choice, uh, putting something like that on maybe a, you know, hey, it's better than nothing type thing. Well, let's cross our fingers and hope it, hope it works. But if I was in a situation where I was going out into something, I wouldn't be very confident throwing that sucker on with, you know, even brand new old uh, filters, you know, unsealed or sealed filters that I unsealed. Uh, and put those in there. I wouldn't have a lot of confidence that I was going out there and I was going to be just fine. Whereas with this, uh, with this 6M gas mask from Mira and the brand new NBC 77s, uh, I would feel confident that uh, I've got the best protection available, and uh, and I would head out and you know at, at least have a little bit of confidence and cross my fingers still because any type of situation you're going to be, but. If you've got any experience with different types of gas masks, uh, some lower cost gas masks, uh, anything like that, make sure and leave them in the comments below. But uh, with that, everyone, take care and prepare. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, take care and prepare. We'll talk to you all later. It's a little, I mean, I'm totally out of breath, but it's not too bad. It just takes a lot to suck in the air, but it is actually doable. And with the speech diaphragm, what are you laughing at, Lisa? Do I look like I'm taking a dump wearing a gas mask? It's just safety precautions. Everybody, everybody should be out of breath wearing a gas mask while they're sitting on the toilet. It's just the right thing to do, anyway. Although three times a day, that's a lot of filters.